So today we're in Maxi taking a look at Abbey House, uh, which is a former rectory, really elegant property, which whilst it needs some renovation would make a wonderful family home once complete. And it comes with a surprise because it also has a separate detached annex, which was formerly the coach house to the property. This has been converted um, it was used as part of the bed and breakfast, which Abbey House was once used as, but now is rented out as a separate unit to provide an investment opportunity. So you can see at the front, there's this in and out gravel driveway, providing parking for numerous vehicles. And then as we step back, take a look at the front of Abbey House which actually as you'll see later on is the rear of the property as originally you approached Abbey House from High Street uh, from the other side so we'll take a look at the other side of the house shortly so anyway let's go inside and take a look So as we enter into the main hallway, a lot of furniture has gone uh, because the house is just being cleared at the moment. So it is being offered with no chain, but you have this very elegant hallway which serves all the principal rooms. And then if we take a look into the sitting room, there are a couple of sitting rooms. This is really the snug room. Got a wonderful ingle nook fireplace. And then there's a, a bar area as we swing round. And then across the way here, there is the study. This is possibly the oldest part of the property. And you step down into this room. And this faces to the front of the house as you approach it at uh, the present time. I'll just show you through here. There is a side doorway and a secondary staircase behind this door here on the left, which takes you up to the first and second floors. I guess originally that may have been servants' quarters back in the day. Apparently under this carpeting in the hallway, there's a lovely flagstone floor, although we haven't seen it to verify it. And then as we swing round here into what, what the owners used as the dining room, Although in my view, it would make a beautiful lounge because it's one of the larger reception rooms. It's got a fireplace there. And then the French doors, which look out to the garden. And all of these rear windows have the original shutters that you can see, which all lock for security and privacy. At some point, this wall here was put in. It's just a stud wall. So realistically, you'd take it out to show the staircase off to its full glory because it's a beautiful staircase. But it was done when the clients used this property as a bed and breakfast to give them some privacy for their own private quarters. So this takes you through to a second sitting room which was mainly used. And again, this is at the rear of the property with shutters on the French doors there. We've got arched alcoves to either side of the fireplace. And 
And then as we head round to the kitchen, this has been made a little bit smaller in that the wall facing you there was added approximately 20 years ago. Again, it's just a stud wall, so they could create a utility area, but you could take that stud wall out to give you a large kitchen. And this is where the boiler is situated. The boiler was changed about five, six years ago. It's uh, an oil-fired boiler. There's no gas in Maxi, so it's a fairly modern oil-fired boiler. And then you have a lovely pantry. And then as we continue through the kitchen into this lobby area, there's again more storage on the left. And then you have this conservatory, which is wooden and glazed, which was used as a kind of breakfast room. It is a good size. Again, it's in need of repair. Being wooden, it's taken a bit of a battering from the elements. So we'd certainly also want repair. And as we head through to this lobby, you've got, if I just try to get your bearings again here, this is leading back to where there's the blue lounge on the left-hand side there. In fact, I'll take you for a walk through just so that you get your bearings. So that's back to there. So you'd, you'd rip this wall down to open up the hallway. But we're now entering into an extension that was built in 1997 to provide the owners with downstairs accommodation. So this is a lovely big bedroom. With fitted wardrobes to the length of one wall here. And you can see it's a huge bedroom. There is an ensuite which we'll take a look at in a minute. But personally, I think this would make a beautiful kitchen because then you're opening onto the rear garden. There's two sets of French doors. In fact, no, there's one set of French doors and a window. And then you're into the bathroom here. which if you did convert this to a kitchen, would perhaps make a utility. So now if we head on upstairs, we'll go back through this corridor. That takes you back to the main hallway. As we head upstairs here, you've got a beautiful landing, a really good space, which gives you access to each bedroom. And you can see the steps into each bedroom. As the property was used for bed and breakfast for a number of years, once the couple retired, most bedrooms up here, in fact, pretty much all of them have got en suites, which again are now a little bit dated. So you'd need to factor in to refit those. We're now at the back of the house to another large bedroom. which again has an ensuite. So there's a three piece suite in there. As we go back down the landing, again, another large double bedroom. You can see the floor plan on our website, which will hopefully Make it easier to understand the whole layout. Again, you have an ensuite here. And 
And we're now at the end of the landing. So there is another large bedroom. another ensuite. You can see all the ensuites are actually quite large because most of them have got baths in. And then there's a, a door here which splits off this side hallway. And this is where you've got the secondary staircase coming up from where I showed you earlier near the study. But before we go upstairs, there is this other bedroom. This is the only one on this floor that doesn't have an ensuite. There is water to the room because it's got a, a wash basin in the corner there. Where the inset bookshelving is here, there are stone mullions on the outside, which indicates that that is where a window used to be. So you could, I'm sure, open that up again, which would make this a really lovely room. Now, as we head on up this secondary staircase, up to the very top floor, this has in the past been rented out as a separate flat lots of space up here long corridor taking you into each room all these internal walls up here are just stud so this could be completely refigured reconfigured so this particular room has kitchenette and could be a kitchen diner kitchen living room And then there are two further reception type rooms. So they could be bedrooms, or if you just wanted one bedroom, you could have another one as a lounge. But we're now at the back of the house. Just got a cupboard in there to my right bathroom at the top here and then another room with hot and cold water can't really see into the garden that way so we'll take a look by going actually outside Just before we go outside, we'll just take a look at the landing from the other direction as we head back to the main staircase. So we're now at the rear of the house. And as I say, originally this was the very front of the property and access was kind of from a right hand shoulder, but in years gone by and before our client's ownership, land was sold off to build new properties but as you can see from that view you, you can't really see them at all and they don't impinge on this property whatsoever abbey house sits on a plot totally of just under an acre they're beautiful gardens heavily wooded and we'll take a look through this way take a walk through the gardens walks through shed there for housing a ride on lawnmower then the garden you can see from I think there's a floor a plan of the land area which shows you that the that the land actually goes behind an adjacent property so it is a wider plot at the back 
than at the front. And there's plenty of room in this area here, which is to the side of the house. If you wish to apply for planning to maybe put a garage in there. You may be able to see that the house has been altered over the years. The, the upper story was put on by raising the roof by approximately four foot at some stage. So it has been altered over the years. At the side of the property here, there's a private patio, nice seating area, but we'll go back through the house now and take a look into the coach house annex. In fact, before we actually go into the coach house through the doorway, I can just show you from over the fence here, the coach house aspect from the rear. You can see the arch there where I guess originally coaches would have passed through. This T part was added on um, in either the 80s or the 90s. And it has been used as a separate annex. It's also been used as an investment property and been rented out at circa a thousand pound a month. And at the moment, it's just housing a family member temporarily. So we'll go inside the coach house and take a look. So for the coach house, you've got this storm porch, which takes you into the hallway. Now the coach house is in reasonably good order, actually. Bathrooms will want refurbishing, but um, it's felt you could maybe live in the coach house whilst the main abbey house was refurbished. So you have a downstairs bedroom. And then there's an ensuite with a shower, toilet and wash basin. And going back into the hallway, ahead of me is just a, a coat cupboard. And then you have here the kitchen and it's, uh, the coach house here has its own separate boiler, which is just to the right of the cooker. And then there is a dining room. And then off the dining room, there's a utility room. Going back to the hallway, we then enter into a lounge. This is where you've got the arch, which takes you into the garden area. There's a French door, which takes you to the garden. And then you've got a pleasant lounge. And interestingly, So shower room off the lounge. The reason for so many shower rooms in here is that when they were running it as a B and B before converting it to separate rentable accommodation, um, the configuration of the house was different. So each bedroom had its own ensuite facilities. So as we head upstairs, there are two bedrooms up here. Both a similar size, so one isn't any bigger than another. At 
The window there faces the front. And then there are fitted wardrobes. And here's a small kitchenette. I guess that harks back to the days when it was used as B&B &B and was maybe a cleaning cupboard. Unfortunately, this bedroom is fairly stacked out with stuff, um, but it's the same size as the other bedroom. And again, has an ensuite. So that concludes the tour of Abbey House and its uh, adjacent annex. As I say, there is considerable amount of work required to the property, so you should be aware of that. But if it's uh, a property you'd like to take on, from which you'll enjoy years of benefit once you've carried out the works, please give us a ring on 01778 391 600 and we'd be pleased to set up an appointment for you.